guess we're just gonna start, huh? Well, crazy. We're back at it. I'm Felonius, and welcome to the Lomo News. In today's top story, I'm back. Who's excited for the 2024 presidential election? I, for one, am most excited for fellow fat guy Chris Christie. Christie recently held a town hall to explain how he will beat Donald Trump in next year's election. Christie stated the only way to beat Trump is to push right through him, which is convenient because the last time Christie pushed through anyone was at a Caesars Hotel buffet line in Atlantic City. In response to these comments, Trump mocked Christie's weight recently to when Christie jumped on a reputable right-wing news outlet, CNN, to discuss this story further. So um, Trump, uh, last night in response to you running, uh, ran a rather mocking uh, video on social media. Um, uh, there it is. It's, it's you. Uh, I guess he's, he's making fun of your weight. Um, that's his... Uh, We're going to be small. That, that's his response. What, what, what did you make of that? What was your response to that? You know, uh, when I saw Jake, I, I just renewed in my own mind what a child he is. He's a baby. Um, whenever you want to criticize him um, in any way, that's the way he responds. And you and I are both lucky enough to be parents. Um, and if we had a child who conducted themselves like that, um, we'd send them to their room, yeah. not to the White House. That's right, Chris. We would never result to name-calling or being a baby, would we, Chris? Would we? Would we? Because that's too hard. It's no, easier. It's hard. easier to sit here. It's easier to sit here and complain. It's easier. And I don't have the money yeah. like you. Yeah. Oh, really? So I'm sure. I'm like sure. That. Easier to sit here and complain. But you know what? Um, that's the joy of public service. It's serving. It's serving folks. It's it's serving folks. Yeah. It's serving. It's serving folks like you that is really such a unique joy. It really is. You're fabulous. In other Republican news, Cohen recently stated that Trump will throw anyone under the bus to get ahead, which gave me a great idea for a new segment, Under the Bus with Felonius. Jesse's mom, I'd like you to know that he doesn't take out the garbage and he takes lots of naps. To Jimmy's mom, that guy has some serious issues and leaves his clothes everywhere. I mean, everywhere. And most of all, to Bird's mother, he doesn't know where he's at half of the time, and for that I'm concerned. And recently, he's having a hard time closing doors, as earlier this morning, the door was found wide open yet again. What comes to mind when I say 40 million years? Advancements in technology, evolution, a higher state of being? No. Researchers recently have discovered that chimps have been masturbating for over 40 million years. And I, for one, am most impressed by their stamina. And that explains why at the zoos you just see a bunch of chimps run around with hairy palms and bad eyesight. Does anyone see my glasses? I can't see anything. Help? Bird? Glasses? In tonight's top story, Cracker Barrel. Known for subpar food, high prices, sticky floors, and delicious, delicious loaded hash browns. And now you can add them to the long list of corporate Pride Month sponsors. Which is a drastic change from their 1990s stance to fire nine openly gay employees. Cracker Barrel is hoping that we will forget this just like the rats that scurry beneath our feet while we're eating our breakfast in the morning. This has enraged local conservative groups, stating that they will boycott Cracker Barrel, leaving the only option in town a local 7-Eleven store, which I will uh, not go down that road. That's right, the same group of people that say pull yourself up by your bootstraps and stop being such a baby are upset over rainbow pancakes. Local conservative leader has stated, please, please stop turning my pancakes gay. This is sports. My name's Champ Champington. Definitely different than the first guy you've seen give you all your other news. Because we have a giant budget here and can definitely afford more than one giant star. 
In sports top news this week, Tom Brady announces he's coming out of retirement. That's right. The greatest of all time will be the greatest of all time on a yacht. Him and his children recently were with Mr. Beast on his yacht throwing footballs at drones and on jet skis. And I, for one, am happy he's finally found his purpose instead of breaking my heart every single week. Thanks for the memories, Tom. Thanks for the memories. Reputable employer and credible company Goldman Sachs recently issued an alarming report that in the future over 300 million jobs could be taken over by artificial intelligence, which they responded, this news is sad. However, I believe that their CEO has been hard for weeks waiting for the sweet, sweet day that he can stop paying wages. Personally, I'm looking forward to AI taking over my job so I can quit this crappy news gig and move on to things that I enjoy, like... Anyways, I'm going to prove tonight that AI can do my job. My dear AI friend has wrote tonight's next segment, to which I will read right now. Our local town has been the center of many strange happenings over the years. From UFO sightings to ghostly apparitions, these tales have been passed down from generation to generation. Whether or not you believe in the supernatural, it's hard to deny that there is a certain fascination with the unexplained. Perhaps it's the thrill of the unknown, or the desire to find an explanation for something that seems impossible. Whatever the reason, these strange happenings have become a part of our town's history and continue to captivate the imagination of locals and visitors alike. We will delve into some of the most intriguing and bizarre stories from our town's past and present. So buckle up and get ready to explore the unexplained mysteries of this local town. See? That's some good stuff. Better than anything I could write. That's for sure. Well, I hope you enjoyed tonight's Lomo News. We'll see you every week on Monday's Felonious. Out. In. I still don't know what to do at the end of these things. Is it in? Is it out? What do I do? Can somebody help me? All right. We'll see you next week for more sweet, sweet Lomo News. All right, am I done here? You guys good? I want to go. All right.